All right, hey everybody, my name is Mark. Welcome back to 2000 Hours of Banjo. We are at, I wanna say 425 hours at this point. I did skip a week the other week. Uh, the last video we did was 402 hours. So I've advanced a good 20 plus hours since the last video. Life's been a bit busy. I have been able to practice. I just haven't had time to record a video. We're outside today. It's a bit noisy inside with a bunch of dogs running around. I'm not gonna do a lot of demo today just because it's freezing cold out here. It's raining. Um, my hands are already starting to go numb and the strings keep going out of tune every time a, a gust blows through <laughs> this breezeway. So I'm not gonna do a lot of demos, but I do wanna uh, talk a little bit about what I've been working on in the past two weeks. One of which was what you saw earlier and hopefully you picked up on it. When I, do, when I was doing up the neck backup, for Cumberland Gap, I switched my right hand position from close to the bridge to close to the neck. So I am practicing that. And it's, it's trying to, this is actually based off, I got inspired by an Eli Gilbert video where he was uh, he was suggesting to practice being able to move up and down the neck is just just pick a roll pattern And move up and down the head of the banjo picking that same roll pattern which interesting to me is that as you get closer to the neck the strings actually get <laughs> closer to the neck as well. So I can't dig as deep on the string without scraping the head. So I have to pluck more shallow uh, as, I, as I move my right hand closer to the neck. And that's, that is posing a challenge. So that's one of the things that I'm working on. One of the, the other things that I've been working on uh, a lot of uh, vamping. I've been doing a lot of vamping work. I've been doing a lot of, and again, I'm not gonna demo. My hands are really not wanting to cooperate. My fingers are really not wanting to cooperate. It's cold. Um, but I've been doing that a lot. I've been spending, making sure I spend a lot, dedicate a lot of time per practice with the vamping. And I do think I'm getting better at that. Hopefully on my next video, I'll be in a warmer environment and I'll be able to demonstrate that for you. In addition to that, uh, for wagon wheel, there's a, sh a section. Oh, uh, my fingers can't bend. Where the ring finger just hasn't been getting down behind the fret, so I've been working on focusing on that. As far as keeping the finger right behind the fret, that goes for um, a lot of the, the songs that require any type of stretches, including Man of Constant Sorrow. Stretch and get that finger behind that fret. That is something that I've been working on quite a bit, just repeating. That was pretty good. And I can kind of do that on the intro. However, when I... Oof. When I get to that part, I'm kind of in a rush at that part of the song and I, I've been coming up short. Another part that... Oof, breeze. That's a cold breeze. <laughs> Another thing that I've been working on is with Cumberland Gap. When I land with the ring finger or the middle finger, I've been bending the string a bit. I think I've mentioned this a few times. This is something I'm constantly struggling with. But one thing that my banjo instructor said is that my position here, my, my, my bracing thumb here, it shouldn't feel like I'm squeezing really hard. So the lighter I squeeze with that thumb to the point where I'm almost not squeezing it, the less I'm, I'm bending the string out of tune. So that has, has helped quite a bit in resolving that particular issue. 
Um, another thing that I've been working on is with uh, Will the Circle Be Unbroken? Just trying not to lift that uh, ring finger. So doing that instead of And I know the demos are really bad. I said I wouldn't do them, but I'm trying to, and my fingers just do not want to bend. So I've been working on that as well. And then lastly, the big thing that I've been working on is a new song. So this is the first time I've been working on a new song in quite some time. And the new song that I picked is Foggy Mountain Breakdown. Uh, this is gonna be Eli Gilbert's tablature. I'll, I'll look to see if I can find that video and link it below. So I'm trying this one out. This is a big song. I heard from some people, some YouTube channels saying that Foggy Mountain Breakdown can kind of be more of an intermediate song rather than a beginner song. So I'm expecting this one to be quite a bit challenging. And even though it is already a bit challenging, I am in a way making it even more so. The very beginning of the song starts with two hammer-ons. And the way I've seen it played by Eli Gilbert, Jim Pankey, and some others is using the uh, pointer finger, the index finger, and the middle finger. But I'm not doing that. Again, I am preferring or the preference of my instructor using the middle finger and then the ring finger, which is a lot more challenging. Now I kind of did that almost smoothly. I'm not getting my ring finger all the way down behind the fret like I should. I don't have that dexterity yet, but it's taken me two weeks just to be able to do that, where it only took me a few seconds to figure that one out. So the last two weeks seriously have been on the first two measures, I say the first two measures are both identical, of Foggy Mountain Breakdown, just trying to build the dexterity and the control of that ring finger. Ugh. And how my instructor explains it is being able to work that ring finger into it will help in the economy of movement as of my hand up and down the neck. Whereas if I play with these fingers, at some point I have to move up versus these fingers. I don't have to move my hand anywhere if they're already in position over these first three frets. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. I'll find out as I get more experience. Obviously, Jim Pankey and Eli Gilbert, who are very accomplished banjo players, do just fine using their index finger and their middle finger. That said, I am enjoying the challenge of building the dexterity in my ring finger. I think that will pay dividends as I get more experience. All right, I think that's about all I can tolerate as far as the cold. I'm losing sensation in my lower jaw, which is gonna make me very difficult to understand if I try to keep talking and get colder. I, th I think my core body temperature is dropping. Uh, I'm gonna go inside, enjoy the dogs, enjoy the fire, and try to warm up. I've got some practice to do. I will see you guys next time.